and it's on rock here. I'm working on it under the top swing. So what uh, Matt has me doing is getting my stance kind of way left. I'm going at that green um, uh, pine tree in the background just to write that white uh, circle out there. As we have my feet on the way left and my path going kind of outside that on the takeaway. And then what I'm learning to do is, you know, set up, I'm taking it out like this, and I'm, I'm kind of uh, getting my wrist kind of flattened out. I feel like I'm really extending out towards the back here, and then get in here and still trying to hit a straight ball from a really open stance. So let's see what it looks like. And just slightly right at that tree, a little bit of fade on it. But what it feels like I'm doing from this direction is it feels like I'm, I'm going kind of way out here. I feel like I'm stretching, stretching, stretching. And then I kind of, you know, do my lateral bump. And as I do a lateral bump, I feel like I'm dropping just slightly. And then this chest feels like it's opening up and I'm turning through the ball. It's very simple. This under the top, it's, it's really starting to feel almost like a Lee Trevino type swing. Okay, 20 yards right, pretty pretty good hit, a little bit off, but felt pretty good. I really went at it trying to really, I'm really trying to learn how to get up here and, you know, sink down in this connection here, you know, trying to pull it in here, and it's just a really different feeling. So that one was straight left, really powerful, but I just, as soon as I try to add a little bit of gas to it, then my arm tightens up and then I lose the whole sink, sink of it. So I got to really, really almost feel like this left arm stays, you know, it's not straight, it just feels like I'm stretching, you know, I'm stretching the back of, you know, my uh, sca scapula back here, my lats. I'm really stretching out. So ball that time felt pretty good, a little bit left, not too bad. So I just really tried to relax my arms. Feels like it's taking forever to hit the golf ball now.
fade. Try to add a little bit of juice to that. Did it really good, just not quite what I want. I'm gonna go really slow this time, see if I can get it. Okay, right at the tree, just a slight fade, really good ball. Let me try one more full blast this time. Okay, now I'm going to play like a tournament ball. I'm going at that tree. I'm going to try to uh, just go all out at it. Like it's a 550 par 5, I need like a 300 plus drive. Okay, we're swimming after just a big pole hook left. Try it again. Okay, exact opposite to the right that time, so it's that's the hard thing when you try to ramp it up. A lot of times I don't get any more distance and I just hit it crooked. So you wonder why I do that, but when you get adrenaline flow, that's the only option you got. A lot of times you gotta be able to have it when when you know you're just going all out at it. Okay, big ball. So, anyway, I got more work to do, but see what you guys think about that. So, start to get a more, you know, inside out path. What we're doing is get my feet open, get my takeaway going even outside that path. Way out here, feels like my wrist is staying flat the whole time. Feel like I'm just getting back here and kind of lowering in, lowering in. I get in here and I feel like I just explode through the ball. So in this view, it's like here. I feel like I just get lower, 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 and then just explode through, through the ball. Feels great when I'm going kind of in slow motion. Still got to work on when I go full out of it. Thanks guys. See all right, just hit the best one ever. So what I felt like, I got in here, like I was saying, I'm laughing, I'm, you know, I'm keeping this thing going. But right up in here, I felt like when I started to push off on my left side, it felt like, felt like my hand was going like up this way. Never felt that before, but I'm telling you what, man, I've never seen anything fly that long. See it. See it. Really strange. Try it.
Okay, one left. Try it again. Just feel like I got uh, when I'm in here, I get when I start lifting up, I feel like I'm lifting up more towards the ball and then more towards the ball this way. My hand feels like it's going up that way. I don't know how that works, but it works. Yeah, that was better. Almost got it. Not quite like the one I got two swings ago. Try it again. Okay, it's a timing thing or some combination. I went with it right again. Felt pretty good, but I didn't quite get through it in the right exact order. So I got to kind of explode off my left side kind of late. Left again, so not getting it. Keep trying, just gotta like, stick with it. I know I can do it. I did. Okay, that was close. That was pretty much it. Not quite as good as the one I hit before, but uh, pretty good. I just wanted you to see kind of the process I'm using to, to get better. You know, I got an eight degree TSI three driver. It has this uh, tour issue, LA Golf Shaft Trono 65X, the one that Bryson's using, something similar to that. So I'm going, you know, Trying to get a lower loft, stiffer shaft, and uh, you know, which is you know, it's demanding. You got to really swing it well to get this thing to go good. So uh, just keep pushing it. See what you guys think. Thanks. See you. Bye.